Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to part 13 of my rags to recycle challenge. Unlucky for some, but apparently not for my sims because we have finally reached our green potential. <laughs> I want to apologise again for how stressful the last part was. You guys have been lovely in the comments. I, I think I got like one comment like, why is this part so short? I'm really sorry. I was just busy and getting to green was taking forever. So I thought I would do a lot of it off screen and I actually like had to do research. I don't have to do research on The Sims very often because I've been playing since I was six years old. However, this time around I had to do research and basically if you can see we have these like spores flying around but they're not bad spores, they're not like polluted spores, they're good spores because our neighbourhood is finally green. I finally got it to the green eco footprint. Enjoy the effects of fresh air and sun rays. Gardening will produce plants and harvestables at a higher quality and green utility objects will produce more. Hallelujah. I honestly am shocked and gobsmacked and in awe that I was able to do this. Apparently mine's gone back to neutral but you know what that's fine because Tina Tinker's house is now green. I gave this one a shout out a few parts ago but I'll give it another shout out. So this is by Megan Brown over on the Sims 4 gallery. I came here from English Summer. Oh Tegan you're so sweet. But yeah I used this as a Tina Tinker one and then I added just like a load more like um sun rays and stuff like the green things i added loads more of those just to get the eco footprint i don't know this one didn't tip it for me so i just added some more stuff in and as you can see that house is pretty much covered in green things such as the wind turbines and the solar panels this house i actually want to show you because i actually really like how this looks i will put this one up on the gallery because this is a house that i did myself so basically with with this house I and I want to walk through this because I know a lot of you guys were struggling to get green I haven't played a lot so I don't know if this like area is going to stay green but I want to kind of move out before we even have the chance of it slipping back into neutral so this house is the same as the one that is already in I didn't change anything about the house minus its windows and the way it looks outside all the inside is completely the same didn't touch a a single thing which is I think is quite nice because like this definitely isn't a starter home um, I think the original was but this won't be because it's like more expensive because I changed a lot of things so this is what this house looks like I kind of based it on the houses of like the upgrade so this house will fit in quite nicely if you have the modern and green upgrades in the neighborhood because like that's what this neighborhood has so you got like a solar panel outside um, Let's go down here. So we got some wind turbines, which I know this wind turbine wouldn't work. It's literally stuck in a tree. I also used a lot of like birch trees because again, just kind of going off the environment, like it was either these tall trees or there was a lot of birch trees used and I used a lot of birch trees on the other one. This one is just ridiculous. I added so many wind turbines into the community lot, but this house actually looks decent. Like I am a fan of it. So just like loads of bushes, loads of greenery, obviously all of these flowers added to the green environment and be careful of what materials you are using. That was, I think where I was failing at this. So what I did was just went to eco lifestyle and then went on all and as you can see like a lot of the tin and like metal ones are all industrial plus one whereas a lot of like the plastic style and the wood are green too so just be careful of what materials you're using floors are also the same so I made sure to pick a floor like this is wooden because I think it fits in like this is soil but this one's wooden and I think it fits in really well with the environment um, so I went for grass in their actual garden but then this wood 
on the outside, which ties into the neighborhood and also has a green footprint of two. So just be aware of the materials you're using. Adding like a fair few trees is definitely helpful as well. Um, adding lots of flowers, like I just did this as a living roof because I was like, okay, that makes sense. So yeah, this is, this is the house that I built. I'll put it up on the gallery. My gallery is English Simmer, capital E, capital S. So like I said, I think we're gonna move straight away because this is already like setting back to neutral. I don't understand it. I don't understand how it works, but I did want to show you the green environment boost. So what a breath of fresh air from a green fiend being on a green street. And yeah, that's what the they get. So this is like a happy moodlet. It basically has turned confident because of the fact that we're feeling confident and I'm just going to move these two straight away because I want this area to stay green. I don't want it going back. I'm going to bring everything with us. I don't think these will move with us because technically these aren't on our lot unless they go into my inventory. I'm not too sure. I obviously added these using the tool mod, which I actually did a video about. So if you want like a really quick tutorial of how to get that balcony working using the tool mod, just go check out the video. I'll link it down below because um, I uploaded it this weekend. So the Forgotten Cottage it is 16,000 Smolians. I did notice that when I showed this off last time, one of you guys said, I don't know if that would have like great soil considering no one's lived there for years. But if you think about, I don't know how soil works. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of plants. You can see, you can't really see my plants because they're in the bathroom right now getting, getting showers. But I am not a big like gardener. I don't really know a lot, but surely if like the soil was left alone, then wouldn't it be really rich? I don't know. If that's not accurate, I can remove that. It's fine. So the Forgotten Cottage is 16,000 simoleons. We are gonna go unfurnished actually, because currently there's just like loads of like grass inside um so we'll keep our furniture hopefully this doesn't mess up fingers crossed i mean if it does it's fine i've saved it so let's go for unfurnished and we're moving house this is where our cottage core fantasies come true also loads of you guys have asked me if i should do or if i was thinking of getting the what's it called not cooking, herbalism. Herbalism skill for Alice, and I kind of really want to. The only issue I have personally with herbalism is the fact you need a lot of ingredients that come from Granite Falls, which means you have to physically travel there like on holiday. Oh God, it removed literally everything. What? The freaking plants inside stayed, but the everything, okay, I should have, I should have done furnished, my bad. Let's do a take two of that. But yeah, the only issue I have with herbalism is the fact that you like constantly have to travel to Granite Falls. So I might do that off screen. I might have her splice some plants whilst we are there. Cause I think she's a gardening, maybe she's not. Um, Alice, what are you in gardening, my love? Oh, you're only a level one, holy smokes. And you're only a level three. We need to get them to a level five so that we can splice some outdoor retreat plants and then we'll have ingredients. So I'll probably do that off screen, but I do kind of want to get her into herbalism because you guys have all been saying that screams cottage core and it definitely, it definitely do be screaming it. If you couldn't tell, it's the next day and I am wearing something completely different because I decided to actually stream doing the interior of this place. There was a couple of issues. There was like a couple of like debug plants that I couldn't delete. So luckily Faye, the creator of this cottage came into my stream, helped me out with it. So we are good to go. I think everything's sorted. I added another little extension onto the side of it because this is our adorable little cottage core kitchen. I'm actually really proud of how this place is looking and it's not completely finished. I will say that. I kind of want this to be like a renovation project for these two um, because obviously they're both very creative and like I want to show their personality off. So the garden is still like fully overgrown. Kind of looks like a little magical garden. We still got like the train tracks outside but I had to move them because they wouldn't like 
move into the house if they were in front of it because they wouldn't have been able to access the entrance um so yeah still most definitely a work in progress but i'll show you guys what i have so far so this is like the one area that's completely done to like the girl's specification like what they want um and i love it it's kind of like this reading nook entrance porch area i'm just a really big fan of this i do actually want to give them like a bigger porch so that when nifty knitting comes out sims team who do i need to drop some simoleons to to get early access like early 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 <laughs> because i just want rocking chairs now like imagine a little rocking chair out on the porch oh it would be so good it would suit this house like so much i'm very excited for nifty knitting but i don't even know when the release date is um and i'm really needing it like right now like this is adorable i love this little area there's also a treadmill because i had v actually upgrade this so instead of using power this now generates power which is pretty damn cool so i'm a fan of that so we have a little treadmill and also like they just wanted to stay a little bit more healthy. So I got them that. This is the bathroom. Um, pretty much all the stuff that we have is stuff that we've had in our apartment. This shower isn't usable, but I kind of like it for decoration. So they're just obviously gonna have baths and things. And then we have a little office. Like I said, this is a work in progress. So not everything is complete. It still looks a little bit dark. It still looks a little bit dingy, but as like they start working, and gaining more simoleons we have about 400 i did leave a little bit because i promised stream that i would do something in this part so we're gonna get that done and we are gonna adopt a little cat for these two which i'm very excited for a lot of the furniture is still like burnt i know i got a couple of questions about this and i mean if you've been watching my rags to recycle challenge you will know but these are like obviously all the bits that we found in the dumpster some of them are broken so we still need that smog vacuum to actually uh sort these out this is gonna be like a wall collage i really like the way it's looking i want to download like some really incredible people have uploaded like art walls to the gallery which are like all painted from reference and there's like flower ones and plant ones i want to get a lot of those i want a lot more plants in this house for sure um so this area is kind of empty right now but i'm thinking hey if these two like ever adopt or if they have a kid then obviously this can be like a second bedroom and then we can just kind of move the office into this area so it's kind of just like open for now we've got a little dining area and then what i think is the best room in the house personally i flipping love this kitchen like look at how amazing this is I would live in this kitchen, like, quite happily. We decided that if it's got empty space, it's a shelf. So the top of the fridge has become a shelf. Just, like, plants everywhere. This is where I started, um, and I definitely want the rest of the house to be, like, this crammed when it comes to it. But right now, it just looks a little bit empty because we kind of don't have anything in our storage that we can place down. Like, there's a couple more plants, but, like, that's huge and just doesn't really fit the vibe. Vibe, but I'll keep it for now. Um, we do have some little tulips that I could possibly place on the table. There we go. Brightens up that corner a little bit. And then upstairs, we have a bedroom, which I know these two are eco-conscious, but I wanted an adorable little fire up here because it just looks so damn cozy. I don't know if there's any way to make a fire green. I highly, highly doubt it. Um, let me go on V and see. Fire guard or auto light. Okay, so this is like plus industrial five, which is kind of crazy. So I may have to remove this eventually, depending on how the rest of my neighborhood feels. But it's gone back to being industrial. Um, it's not neutral anymore, which it was. So they're feeling tense from an unnatural environment. Ugh, the air. I hate how it disappears when you're trying to read it. The air feels so gross and the land feels so unnatural. Why can't this neighborhood be a bit more green? And gross air. The air feels a little heavier than usual, but industry is booming and alice is obviously feeling the same way oh my god it's 8 p.m 
Where did Monday go? Sorry, I have chatted everyone's ear off. Oh, we need to feed our crickets. They're declining. Oh no, we need to nurture them apparently like three times a day, which just seems a bit ridiculous to be quite honest with you, but we'll do that. And then V, why don't you adopt little meatball? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, how do we adopt a pet? Hire a service. There we go. Currently just chatting to the plants. We kind of need to eat as well. I kind of just want to go for pizza delivery. I kind of just want to pig out with pizza with my gal in my new house. Gay goals. I think we're going to do that. Uh, but first, let us adopt a cat together. Oh, it's going to be so cute. I really want a ginger one. Basically, if you aren't part of my streams, I have a pillow that Stream has decided looks like a meatball. And so whenever meatball is in there, chat is like, where's meatball? And so I want to get a cat that kind of resembles meatball. And I'm not going to lie, like it's kind of like a mustard color. So I'm getting the vibe from like these three. I do like Mr. Wiggles. Mr. Wiggles is a male kitten. Uh, then we have male kitten Peepo. And then we have Coco, who is a female kitten. I kind of love the look of Mr. Wiggles. I really like Mr. Wiggles, but we're going to call him Meatball. Meatball Wiggles. <laughs> Mr. Meatball Wiggles is going to be his name. <laughs> Let's get him. Let's order him, order him, <laughs> adopt him. And then let's also order a pizza. Oh my God, when do we get more pizzas? I'm sorry, we only used to have cheese, pepperoni and Canadian. Now we have kebab, sweet corn and tikka masala. When did that happen? I don't remember, this is new. Let's get a sweet corn pizza. I feel like that would be kind of fancy. I don't think the cat worked because it didn't take 200 simoleons out. Excuse me, your pizza is on. Well, what about my cat? Wait, the cat's here. Oh my God, I just heard him meow. Okay, let's go give a friendly introduction to this baby. Oh my God, he's so tiny. Look at him. V, get out here. Oh, this is the person who brought them. The adoption agent. Oh, look at him. Meatball. Oh, why are you coughing? Okay. Pet calmingly. Oh, the cat's feeling tense? Or we're feeling tense. Ooh, pizza's here. Alice, go take the pizza off, uh, off Krishna. My game loves the name Krishna. Everyone in university was called Krishna. We're going to adopt. I want this cat. Mr. Wiggles is mine. Please stop talking to me. Oi, go get, go get the pizza. I know you're tense because you don't like spending money and you purchased a new item. Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Yes, I want Meatball in my life. Uh, so his last name is going to be Wiggles and then he's going to be called Meatball. He is a literal baby. We're going to give him a treat. And then we're going to pick him up because we need to bring him inside because he's a kitten and he cannot climb stairs. Oh, our pizza's on the floor. Alice! She, <laughs> Alice was just like, you spent money on this pizza. I don't want to eat it. I am rejecting your consumerism. Alice, get back. Oh, Alice isn't even hungry. You haven't said hello to the cat. Okay, put Meatball down here so that I know Meatball. No! Okay. Go, yeah, safe inside. And then we need to grab a slice of pizza. Take a slice. This house is so cool. I'm so proud of these two, man. They've come so far. We need to buy all the cat stuff though. So we need a pet bowl. We need a little litter tray. Oh, they're such gays. I'm living for it. Okay, let's get a little, a little white one. Um. This can be his little corner for now. Although they don't like their food near where they piss, which is completely understandable. Um, I too do not like my food near where I piss. <laughs> um, maybe their little tray could like fit here. Oh my God, do we even have enough money? 
we can just get a really bog standard one for now like this is fine and we should get a little bed as well I kind of love these little baskets and I feel like these two would definitely have a little basket for this guy so let's go for this is cute oh my god this is his little corner I love him already what an angel and then should we do they like squeakers they do want to allow your cats to hone their mice hunting skills he can have a squeaker and then do we have the gay one the cat dazzler rainbow edition yes for our gay cat <laughs> cool i think we got everything we need we'll get a scratch post as well actually um let's go for this one this is so cute oh my god a baby has everything it needs and V, I'm gonna stick this in your inventory. Look at him! Meatball, you are so damn cute. He's so happy. Don't go outside. Where are you going? You're my cat now. Oh, you're just having a gander at the bushes? He's definitely gonna get lost in here. Do you see how tiny he is? He's gonna get lost. <coughs> Give some food. We're giving him all the treats. <laughs> it's so cute and we're no longer off the grid on this area so we can like watch tv and everything which is crazy i feel like we haven't been able to do that in ages okay i'm gonna extinguish this candle um there you go meatball this is for you why are you crying oh you're crying at the tv not at the cat that's fine i'll allow it and our pizza should probably go in the fridge considering Alice is already asleep so defo not gonna want okay I should extinguish this candle as well uh let's use this and then we will also go to bed hopefully the cat's all right actually before we go to bed let's fill his little food bowl, bowl so that we know that he's got enough for the night I know it's really sad that he can't get upstairs and come sleep with us, but like he's got the run of the whole downstairs. Like he'll be fine. And we can always hear him meowing because our room isn't cut off at all. Like it's like um if I put my walls up, it's kind of like this open sort of loft bedroom. So it's fine. You can now do loft bedrooms now that we have ladders. How cool is that? Alice is still on her side of the bed, which I can very much appreciate. Thank you, Alice. I just love this house. Let me know what you think of it down below. If you want me to upload this version to the gallery, first I will check with Faye considering it is their original build. So I will double check that I'm okay to upload it. But if so, I'll upload it to my gallery. I can't remember if I've uploaded these two. I know a lot of you were asking for V and Alice. I think in the end I did upload them because so many of you guys were asking. So I'll double check. I'm gonna auto light this light. I should auto light all the lights really in the house so that we're not wasting money. Oh, he's on his little scratching post. I love him so much. He's already part of the fam. He's just like making himself feel at home. These two really are living out their cottage core fantasy. If you feel like there's, okay, I don't think they can use this because V's just gone to wash their hands over here. Uh, if you feel like there's anything missing, obviously we need to save up some more money first, which is gonna be dead simple to do. A greener world by doing green activities. Is that just cause like I have green eco footprints on these? Also, we lost our solar panel, which is a bit annoying. So we'll need to get a solar panel and we'll need to get like a dew collector and a wind turbine because that can now fit in our garden so that's going to be good we're definitely going to save up for those but i think i'm going to end this part here i'm sorry i feel like it was a lot of like paused gameplay in this part like i don't really feel like this was like a gameplay part but i have a lot of things that i need to do what can we actually fabricate at the minute rugs um oh the flower and flora rug i forgot we unlock that. I can't remember if that was last part or this part. I think it was last part. And we got floor lights as well. I should probably, I kind of, actually, we're not gonna end this part yet. I wanna do this, the flower and flora rug. I wanna see what it looks like and I want V to be the one. 
I also love how I added the little details of like these on the floor with like wax around it and then also this like little painting thing because this can fire paint at you. Oh, it's literally just grass. Um, not gonna lie, I'm kind of feeling that. I think I'm gonna delete this. Sell the faux fur rug. I'm kind of feeling this for in our bathroom. <laughs> like we step out onto grass. Grassy pastures under, to be fair, there is nothing better, even though this is probably gonna go through some people. There's like nothing better than in summer, like walking through grass bare feet and walking on sand bare feet. Like those two feelings, like when it's warm outside, I personally don't think there's anything better than that. Oh, oh, we're glitching. We're double glitching. Why are you sad? Cause you're not making things? It's 1 a.m. Are you sleepwalking right now? Alice. Oh wait, V stole your side of the bed. V, can you not get in your side? Octavia, I'm gonna full name you. I don't full name you very often. Assign left side of the bed to V. Sleep in your side of the bed. There you go. Kicking Alice out. Poor Alice. She was so comfy and cozy. I should definitely auto light this light. I just don't like auto lights and especially because like this place is dark. <gasps> It's kind of cute that they sleep with a little nightlight. I kind of love that. Um, but yeah, I just think like this place is quite dark because there's a lot of dark woods currently. And like I said, this definitely isn't the final form. Like that's not what this is gonna look like. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a lot lighter. Think of it more like this area. The whole house is gonna be a lot more like this when we come to finishing it. So I might not upload this version to the gallery. I might wait until I've like fully it out. I've not actually decided what we're gonna do in the next part yet. I think I'll play like a couple of days off screen. Hopefully I can unlock that eco invention and I think I may rewind their body clocks because like they're meant to be aging up V especially soon like four days and I kind of don't want them to age up yet so I think I'm gonna <gasps> you know what I didn't do? I haven't checked the naps in this neighborhood. Oh shit. Sharing is caring is on. Oh no, 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 no. That means people are gonna steal stuff from my house. Rock your body and mind. What better way to care for oneself than the accountability of a whole community? Rough housing, fighting, sharing is caring. See that bike sitting there that could be your bike or anyone's bike. With this initiative, everything you see can be yours. You see something, you take it. No questions asked, no repercussions. You don't get too attached to anything you already own and water conservation. Shoot. And the repeal thing isn't gonna pop back up until next Monday. That means people are gonna steal like my recycling machine. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out, but it's only gonna be repealed on Monday. We have a whole week of people stealing my things to cope with. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys.